Hello folks, welcome back to the Urban Rider Studio to look at our five favourite motorcycle jeans for 2023. And I feel especially qualified on this occasion to talk about what they're like to live with because I own a decent amount of these myself and I'll point those out as we go through. Let us know your favourites in the comments section. Let's begin. First on our list are the John Doe Pioneer, and these come from John Doe's mono range of motorcycle jeans, in which they have a variety of different styles for you to choose from. The Pioneer in particular are a slimmer fit, quite a neutral looking jean, to be fair, and they come in a variety of different colorways, and that's part of the reason we've chosen them for this. We actually have an exclusive colorway here at Urban Rider, so these come in either indigo, light blue, used black, which is the colorway you can see on the mannequin, or at Urban Rider, you can get them in pitch black as well, which is a more solid and bold black colorway, as you can see here. These come in at the time of making this video for 235 pounds. Um, one of the biggest selling points to these in particular is the level of safety that you get. These have a CE AAA certification, which is made all the more impressive as they are single layered motorcycle jeans. And the denim really does just feel like a regular fashion pair of jeans, which is very impressive and adds to your level of comfort. I can prove that because I wear mine regularly on and off the bike. Even if I'm nowhere near a bike on a day and I just want a nice looking pair of jeans, I will often go to my John Doe Pioneers. Now that's not to say that single layer jeans are the be all and end all. We have multi-layer jeans, which I'll get onto a little bit later in this video. The benefit you do get though with single layer jeans is like I say, the fact that the denim feels more like regular denim. And of course on hotter days, they are gonna be slightly lighter and therefore more breathable. In case you're wondering, these use a mix of XTM fibers and denim blend. These also come with a full set of armor included at your knees and your hips. And the mannequin is actually wearing the armor as well. You can see how slimline it is on this occasion. But if I did have one criticism of these jeans, it probably would be how fiddly the armor can be to get into place. Once it's there, it's absolutely fine, but there are simpler systems which we will get onto. Very stylish jeans, great levels of safety, and if you wanna check out the new colorway, the link will be in the description. Let's move on. Next up, we have the Knox Rydal, and I don't actually own these jeans yet because they are still new, but there is still time. So these are slightly different to the Pioneer. They are also single layer jeans, but they come in at a slightly lower price, £199.99, and they also have a slightly lower safety rating, so CEAA approved. They come in the black colorway you can see here, and they also do a ladies version. The outer fabric is a mix of nylon, denim, and elastane for flexibility. And it's good that they're flexible because they are a skinnier fit than you'll find with the Pioneer. I don't think a lot of people probably would class this as a full-on skinny fit, but certainly they are one of the slimmest jeans I'm gonna show you from this list. They also have a slightly higher waistline than the Pioneers, but if you have any qualms about sizing information, you can drop a question in the comment section, or of course, check our detailed size guide. And my absolute favorite thing about these jeans, Knox's jeans in particular, is the quality of the armor that you get included. So these come with Knox Micro Lock armor at your knees and your hips. It's very high quality, it's very comfortable. And the other really big selling point is that you have an externally accessed pocket for your knee armor. It's very easy to get the armor in and out. So when you get off the bike, you can take out the armor and walk around with a little bit more comfort and the pocket is very well hidden along the seam on the inside of your leg. Check out the rest of Knox's range if you want to see some different styles and colorways. Let's move on. Next up at 279 pounds, we have a very different looking pair of trousers. These are the Fuel Marshall. And again, I own a pair of these for myself. Now this is a very different style than the other two jeans I've shown you so far, arguably less discreet than those trousers, but if you have an adventure bike or a scrambler, these jeans are gonna look fantastic whilst you're riding and they will offer high levels of safety. These also have a CE AAA certification and they come with level two armor included at your knees and your hips. And if you are gonna take your adventure bike or scrambler off road, you will appreciate that level two armor. These are available in the color options black or sand. 
The difference in style speaks for itself really of the other jeans that I've shown you so far. These have a relatively high waist on them. They are also a relatively relaxed fit. They have these pleated sections running the length of your hips at the top of your knees at the small of your back for increased flexibility. And although these are still single layered jeans, in comparison to the likes of the John Doe Pioneer, they are slightly thicker feeling and therefore slightly warmer. Similar to the Knox, the knee armor pockets can be accessed from the outside via the zips on the outside of your knee on this occasion. And they do these in the waist sizes, 30 inches up to 40 inches, only one leg length, but I don't find that much of an issue with mine because I tend to couple these trousers with a taller boot anyway. Check out these or the rest of Fuel's trouser options using the links in the description. Let's move on. Next up, at a very impressive £139.99, we have the Risha Carter. These are available in either black, dark blue, or stonewash, and they have a CEAA certification. These then represent fantastic value for money, and probably one of the most neutral styles of the trousers I've shown you so far. They have a more relaxed fit, and some people do gravitate more towards that as well. They do lack a little bit of the finesse of some of the other trousers I've shown you so far, but they're really nice and functional, and they have all of the basics that you need. For the outer material, they've used denim, which is reinforced with Dyneema and Cordura yarn. The armor is another USP to these in as much as it is level two armor included at your knees and your hips. And beyond that, there's not an awful lot else to explain. They're a very simple pair of trousers. In terms of sizing, they come between either 30 inches or 44 inches, and they do them in two leg lengths. Moving on. Next up, we have a pair of multi-layered trousers in the Pandomoto Mark Kev 02 that you can see here, available in either olive or black, and they come in at 249 pounds. Obviously, they have a distinctive style, as much as they are cargo trousers, so they definitely look different to some of the other jeans I've shown you so far, but there's additional benefits in that you have extra storage, obviously, at your thighs, as you can see. These have a CE safety rating of level AA, and they come complete with level one armor from Sastec at your knees and your hips. That is fabric back, so it's very comfortable and slimline. Then let's talk about your abrasion resistance. So as I say, these are multi-layered jeans. The industry does seem to be favoring single-layered jeans now, in particular over multi-layered jeans. The stigma that used to be attached to it is that multi-layered jeans were slightly thicker, slightly warmer, and the liners were less comfortable. That was the case, but there have been massive improvements, and Pandomoto probably are one of the best companies at perfecting multi-layered jeans. Essentially, these jeans have a tough and durable Cordura outer, which allows them to be thinner and lighter in areas where they don't need to be quite as tough, and then in key impact areas, places where you're more likely to touch down and need the extra abrasion resistance, they are reinforced with DuPont Kevlar. Now that's good to know for peace of mind, but trust me, you will not be able to feel where it is thicker or lighter while you're wearing them. It all works together really cohesively. And if you are concerned about these being a warmer pair of trousers to wear on those hot days, have no fear. They actually have additional vents as well at your thighs to allow in more airflow. And I can tell you from using these, those do work really well. They're available in the waist sizes, 30 inches up to 38 inches. They again have one inch increments in that middle section. And they offer them in three different leg lengths, the longest of which is actually 36 inches. So if you are particularly tall, it's worth looking at Pandamoto. And that was our list and quite an extensive amount of my wardrobe as well. Let me know your favorites in the comments section down below. And if you want to find some trainers to couple with your trousers, we have another top five for you found just here. I'll see you soon.